In this video, I wanted to share with you how to use YouTube's timestamp feature for when creating or editing videos. At first, when I saw other YouTubers use the feature, I couldn't figure it out. Uh, when I tried searching for it, no results were returned and it was because I was looking it up wrong uh, or using the wrong keywords. So when I upload the video, I'll include the tags that you may search for. So hopefully you'll, you'll find a hit to my video. Um, you may think of it as a chapter shortcut or sometimes it's called a key moment link, but YouTube calls it a timestamp. So what's a timestamp? I'll read you the definition that I found. A time timestamp is a link to a part of a YouTube video. So rather than waiting for a complete video to run from zero seconds to the point you are referring to, it enables you to directly link to any second of the video. What's more, you can even reference in minutes or hours where necessary. Okay, so how do you do it? Well, you can open up YouTube Studio or if you have the video, so here's a video that I uploaded um, under edit video, open that up and it'll bring you to this, to this section and it's under YouTube Studio video details and under the description part. Okay, so from there you can make a, a content section or a timestamp like I did. I created a header as a timestamp and you'll see that I've just labeled it by the minute and second of the chapters that, that I wanted. Um, if I go back to this video we show more, you'll see the chapters here that I linked. Okay. And that mirrors what I did before. Okay. Now, for example, if I wanted to add something new, so let's just say zero, zero, 15 intro. This is just an example. I'll save it. Okay, changes saved. I go back here. I'm going to refresh. Waging war. Okay, I'm just trying to pause the video. All right, click on show more and there you go. And now you see it, you see 15 seconds as the intro. And that was just a very quick update. So you'll notice that you don't have to write any code. You don't need HTML or anything like that. You simply just type the minute and seconds that you want to reference and YouTube automatically recognizes it. And typically what people do, they add a, a short description um, or label to, to the minute and the second that you're referencing. So it's easier for the user. Okay. So um, lastly, why would you want to use timestamps? So as I kind of pointed out, um, I find it helpful to be able to quickly jump to a section you want to watch or listen to in order to save time. Um, it also creates a table of contents for your videos. So I think that's really helpful. So for example, it's like reading a book, you know what part you wanna, you wanna read or, or watch. You can just quickly click to that section and- Chapter it's five. There, Enter right? Um, it also just creates an overall better experience for the user and your followers. Um, and yeah, so that's it. If you liked the video, please uh, hit the like button. Um, thank you for your support.